Good morning, uh, this is Jeff Metz, and I wanted to make this video today. This goes out to Kevin from Prescott. The question is, uh, what does a trainer look for when they're out there at the track watching the horses training? So uh, first off, we start in the barn, and we wanna make sure, did the horse eat up? Uh, then we check the legs, make sure there's no heat or swelling anywhere. Uh, we wanna make sure everything's good there before we start. So then once we get going, uh, we bring the horse out, we get the rider on, and away we go. So as we're going to the track, uh, the horse might do some jogging to warm up and we wanna see how the horse is acting. You know, I'm always watching how the horse is walking to the track. I'm watching as he's trotting in his warm up. you know, how's he moving or she moving? Are they moving even? Then when they do their gallop, you know, are they changing leads? Are they smooth about it? Are they a little choppy on one lead or the other lead? Um, then as they're finish their gallop and they're coming home, then I look for them again. Are they trotting just as good, even better, uh, maybe a little stiff? So um, these are things that I'm watching for, like a lot of other trainers are out there watching their horses and they're watching how they're moving and stuff like that. But um, one of the things I pride myself on is watching the movement of the horse. And not only that, but also the personality and the personality of how are they feeling? You know, as they're coming off the track, are they lively and bright? Are they feeling good? Um, do they uh, look a little quiet and their heads down? Uh, not a lot of energy. Uh, but if they're bouncing and jumping, then that, that's a good sign. I mean, they did their training, they're feeling good. And the other thing I look for is their coat. Is their coat shiny and nice? Uh, is their coat a little dull? Do we need to do something? Maybe take blood work and see if there's anything going on. Maybe we need to deworm the horse. Uh, maybe we need to check the teeth. So there's a lot of things that um, we're always looking at and evaluating. And this is uh, things definitely change day to day and sometimes hour to hour. So that's what really makes uh, the training game interesting, difficult, uh, and all across the board. So then after the horse comes to the track, it comes back to the barn and we go ahead and wash it off and then we cool it down. Uh, at some of our venues, we use a hot walking machine where the horse will cool out for about 20 to 30 minutes. And at Santa Anita or in Southern California, we walk them by hand. And again, we're monitoring, watching how they're walking. Is there any tightness? Is there any muscle cramps? Or are we um, free and moving good? And also, um, are they still, are they on their toes, playful, jumping, bright? Um, <clears throat> so these are things that we look for. And then some days we'll go out and we have a workout. And during the workouts, you know, all trainers as well as myself, you know, we're timing the workouts. And this is something that really comes into play because I think as owners or betters looking at the racing form, what they see is the time, you know, 103. Well, was the horse all out, pushed in 103? Or was he going so easy, he looked like he was galloping? So that's the difference between the workouts. And then sometimes, were they working by themselves or were they working in company? So these are like a few different subtleties that the reason we're timing the horses is to see, you know, they went 36 and one, but they were whipping and driving. Or they went 38 or 35 and four, but they were doing it so easy, it was unbelievably easy. Um, then we also do gate training and we want them to come out clean. We don't want them to be nervous in the gate. Um, so we'll school them. As a horse is getting ready to run, we'll school them like once or twice a week as they jog out, gallop out, and then things like that. But then once they're breaking, do we wanna make sure they're not too nervous in there, they load in quietly, they stand as quiet as possible, and then they break alertly and get good position right away. So these are just a few of the things that I as a trainer look for when the horses are out on the track, but uh, Kevin, I wanted to answer your question and let you know that uh, these are things that I'm looking for when I'm watching my horses out on the track. You know, it starts in the barn, goes through their exercise, and then it also goes on the cooling out period. And then also when they come back to their stall and are they eating up, are they diving into the food and are they happy and bright when you go and visit them with carrots or cookies or peppermints. So uh, this is just a brief synopsis of what I'm looking for as a trainer out on the racetrack, but I just wanted to let you know, and I hope that helps.